Hello everyone, it's John, Franchise Skeptic here. We're talking about the alternative board. They're actually featured on one of our podcasts and they are one of the business consulting franchises uh, that we are featuring this week. Now, the alternative board is again, one of those franchises that you probably buy as an adjunct to a larger business or a separate business like CPA firm, bookkeeping, legal, legal firm, etc. cetera. Uh, it is an initial investment of $80,000, relatively inexpensive for these things a seven year franchising term. And if you do our Dow Jones industrial average comparison, that comes about $150,000, $160,000 over that seven years. So that means you need about $25,000 a year of profit pulling out of this thing in order to just make up, you know, for the profit that you would need from that investment. Royalty and advertising fee is 20%, not as bad as intelligent leader executive, but still pretty high, it's 20% off the top. Now they do disclose what their median location makes. $229,000 a year. So with that royalty fee of 20%, that comes out at about $46,000, $50,000 a year. Keep my math simple, we'll say $50,000. The profit that we needed that we talked about earlier was going to be about $25,000 a year. So your median, $229,000 minus that $50,000 minus that $25,000 goes to about $150,000 of revenue. Remaining left to pay your salary, run the location, etc. You probably already have another business on top of this one. And so you probably won't need to have a lot of salary. I am going to say that looking at the requirements of the alternative board, you have to have networking meetings. You have to do a lot of different uh, meetings and one on ones, etc. It really seems like a second job that you're buying on top. It's not like you're buying a system to which you can turn to when the customer orders it. This is something you work every day. So that's the alternative board. All right, like, follow, share, subscribe, franchiseskeptics.com. Thank you so much. Bye.